All right, guys, before this video starts, I want to do something a little bit different because I got a fan mail letter from a kid named Easton, and I was really, really touched by it. These are two of the pictures that he drew for me. He unfortunately ended up passing away at 11 years old in a hunting accident and was never able to send those pictures himself to me. Anyways, I just want to pray for them and their family real quick. And if you guys could go down to the comments and just say something positive to them, because I know that they're probably going to see this, that would be amazing. Lord God, I thank you so much for Easton. I know at the time, maybe he didn't realize how much of an impact that he would have on my life, as I'm sure that he has for many others. I thank you for every second that he got to spend with friends and family, and I just pray for comfort and peace as they go through this really tough time together. Lord God, I pray that it brings them closer together than they ever have been, and that this turns into an incredible testimony where they're able to touch many other people's lives. We thank you, Lord God, so much for who you are in your most precious holy name. Amen. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's still watching this right now, and again, thank you in advance. I know the comments are gonna be amazing. So uh, let's have a good time. Let's hop into this video. Let's do it. Easton, this video is for you, bro. This is Christian McCaffrey. This is Saquon Barkley, and this is me. I didn't need to tell you that. Anyways, these two running backs are both rookies again, and we're gonna see who can win the race to score 100 touchdowns first. It was already time to simulate year one. It was about to be time to find out how these new rookie running backs would do. Now, before we check the stats, let's pull up the goals that these guys have for each season. The yard milestones will get them upgrades. Touchdown goals can add offensive linemen to make their lives easier. And if you happen to win any awards at the end of the year, it's big time bonus touchdowns. We're off to Saquon Barkley, who had just shy of a thousand yards. I'll admit, that's hard to look at. He had four touchdowns on the ground and one receiving, totaling five touchdowns for his rookie year. Look at this, Christian McCaffrey on crazy as rookie year. Over a thousand yards. That's a dev upgrade. Ten touchdowns on the ground alone. That's an 80 overall offensive lineman. I am very happy to be here. And two more touchdowns receiving, giving Christian McCaffrey a pretty early lead. On top of that, the 49ers made the playoffs where touchdowns will be doubled for both running backs. The 49ers won their first two games against the Seahawks and the Vikings, but unfortunately couldn't pull it off against the Cowboys in the NFC Championship game. But McCaffrey scored on the ground twice in this playoff run, giving him four more touchdowns with the playoff bonus, giving C-Mac a 16 to 5 lead to start their careers. I'm a winner, see my prize. You're a loser who sits and cries. It's now time for our 1v1. One rush apiece, most yards wins. Here goes nothing. He's off. Oh, Jukes wants. Bust an ankle. That's not a bad run. 12 total yards. Saquon's up. Here goes nothing. Oh, this looks decent. Oh, he's gonna get it. No! Just a yard short. He didn't get it. C-Mac will be getting the good wheel only to land on plus 10 wins. This team's pretty much getting an automatic playoff bid. And if they're winning games, he might score more touchdowns. We are now spinning the loser wheel for Saquon Barkley, which still has upgrades on it. We're going to have plus three to a speed. That's one of the best ones you can get. Wow, look at that. The Giants finished 10 and seven. No wonder why they have a new quarterback. <laughs> Saquon had a big season, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns on the ground, along with four more receiving. That'll bring him from star to superstar. Yeah. Because of the touchdowns, New York added two new offensive linemen. Welcome aboard. C-Mac did terrible. He hit his sophomore slump, only five total touchdowns, none receiving. Each of the teams went through the playoffs and both running backs scored a touchdown apiece, adding two touchdowns to their totals. And just like that, Saquon Barkley has come back from a monstrous deficit to take a 25 to 23 touchdown lead. Did you miss me? It's now time for a punt off. Saquon Barkley's up first at a 41 overall. It's kind of dope that he has an X factor. The furthest punt is going to be the winner. And <laughs> Saquon ain't booing that ball too far. After review, Saquon Barkley's punt went a total of seven yards. Yep, seven. That's gonna be tough to beat. C-Mac is now up at a 47 overall, so a little advantage for him. Come on, dude. You do not have to kick the ball far to get this. That actually was worse. That punt went one yard. You can't even make that stuff up. Where's the respect, Madden? Since Barkley had the furthest kick with seven yards, he gets to spin the good wheel getting 
plus 12 to his awareness. That should definitely help with the overall. We're now hitting the loser wheel for Christian McCaffrey, and he is going to land on plus three to his ball carrier vision. I'll be honest, that's probably not going to do much. In year three, McCaffrey had nine rushing, three receiving, and four playoff touchdowns, giving him 20 total. Saquon had 14 rushing and one playoff touchdown, giving him 16 for the year. And if we take a look at the totals, Christian McCaffrey has climbed back to gain a slight lead. By the way, still no yearly awards for the guys. We're now on to 1v1 number three, which will be the most kick return yards. Saquon's getting the ball right at the goal line. He already got 10. He's off Get the 20. What are you running into somebody on purpose for? What was that? Saquon will have an official score of 26 yards. It's now time for the boy McCaffrey to get this. Decent score to beat, but it's definitely doable. And he makes it look easy. The goodwill for Christian McCaffrey is going to get him plus three to all his stats. And the losing wheel for Saquon will get him plus three to his speed again. After the upgrades, Christian McCaffrey is now a 99 overall. Saquon is the faster running back at 92 and is still pretty respectable at a 96. We are now about to be off to head through season number four. Oh, look at this. The Niners and Giants are playing each other in the wild card. And San Francisco just pulled off the upset. Even though they lost, Saquon did have a rushing and receiving touchdown, giving him four to his total. The Niners playoff hopes quickly died, but not before McCaffrey could score one touchdown. And this is huge. Another milestone has been hit over 1,250 yards for McCaffrey, which is going to get him plus three to every one of his stats. He also had 10 total touchdowns for the regular season. Saquon Barkley had nearly 1,400 yards, also giving him the overall boost, along with nine total touchdowns from the regular season. The race is now tighter than ever. 55 touchdowns to 54. Both running backs, 99 overall superstars. Challenge number four was least amount of attempts to score a catching touchdown, and both Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley took exactly eight, so we're going to give them both a good wheel to spin. C-Max will spin will be first because right now he's in the lead. He will get plus 10 wins for the season. Looks like another playoff bid. Saquon's wheel is going around right now. He's going to end up with plus six to his spin move. Oh man, this is getting serious. The 49ers are in the Super Bowl, and on top of that, including playoff bonuses for for both of them, Christian McCaffrey has a whopping 22 touchdowns, bringing his total to 77, and Saquon at 15, bringing his total to 69. Now, what we have to remember, if the 49ers win the Super Bowl, McCaffrey gets to add 10 touchdowns to his total, and if he somehow wins MVP, he gets to add another 10. We're in the fourth quarter, and it's looking really good for the 49ers. I think they have it locked up, and they do. 30 to 24, along with two more playoff touchdowns and 131 rushing yards. Christian McCaffrey might have the Super Bowl MVP. Oh, no way. He did win it. Brock Purdy only had 200 passing yards. That's going to be another 10 added to the total. And if we add to the new total, Christian McCaffrey has done it. 101 touchdowns. Congratulations, C-Mac. You did it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and keep God first. We'll see you on the next one. Whoa, wait, where are you going? We have a brand new video on our unemployed channel. There's a link in the description, and here's a trailer. Yes! Yes! Are you kidding me?